What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Fargo. And man, we have some super, super exciting news. We have a lot to talk about. We have the new developer's handbook giving us a guideline for what NetMarble actually plans on doing for us over the next six months. We also have a new collaboration, which is pretty much one of the most anticipated, requested collaborations that we've ever had in this game. And it is so exciting man oh my god we got so much to talk about this is so cool i cannot believe this is actually happening for kofas and this is big my friends this is huge for this game so the first thing i want to bring up is the developer handbook so we're just going to read through this guys and check out what they're having in store for us so you know hello this is kale of all-star team up until now they've been informing us about the upcoming developments through manager chrysler's youtube channel which we all definitely appreciate however we have been getting requests for a more detailed layout of our update plans for 2022 therefore we are here to lay out some of the update plans for this year through this developer's note which we definitely appreciate before we begin we hope that many of you could continue enjoying manager chrysler's videos and that all of you could count on us to bring the nest best of kof all-star so content updates First of all, we want to thank all of your positivity towards the newly added 2002 story update, which a lot of us really, really loved. It was a very, very good story. Really enjoyed it. The 2002 story was possible because it is within the KOF All-Star universe. And so we are able to create it on a what-if basis. The dev team was happy to see and hear that many of us enjoyed the newly added story content. And after carefully going through the comments and feedbacks of 2002 story mode update, the dev team was certain that such update is the true strength of our team. The reviews from most of us from you made us certain that our goal was achieved. Creating a content that differentiates KF All Star from all other games, we appreciate everyone for the wonderful feedbacks and the continued excitement for what's next. Love it, love it, love it. Nevertheless, there were some contents in 2021 that the dev team could not fulfill the expectations of our users. Yes, we know, we'll get to that. To ameliorate such an issue, we are continuously putting our heads together to find a better solution. Down below are our two main bases of what we plan to do to improve our contents. So now they're gonna let us know what they're actually gonna to try to improve and where they actually made some mistakes. First, we plan to focus on having fun, guys. That is amazing and that is good to hear. That is what we want to hear. That's what games are all about. At the end of the day, we play games to have a good time, to have fun. So I'm glad they're realizing that's what they really need to focus on. The Demos based content was initially created to provide everyone with a new type of fun, but it was short lived and didn't quite make the cut. Yeah. The irregular difficulties, subpar rewards, repetitiveness, etc., have all accumulated and made Demos based a somewhat failed content. True that, my friends. We will fix such issues and bring a much better version of Demos based in the future. So we know that the base is going to come back, but they realize the faults of it. So hopefully they, they make it a lot better than what it was. I mean, we had 50 stages before it was just way too long it took too long to do and it actually because they nerfed all of our characters they took our hyper armor away they took our cc effects away they wouldn't let us build up our pg they had a depleting effect in there where we'd actually get bled the whole time we just start losing live it was just insanely difficult and for 500 rubies a week it really just wasn't worth it for what's coming in the future, we will do our best to learn from our mistakes and focus more on the fun part of each new content. In addition, we plan to look back at our existing contents and make improvements to entertain more views. So great. So we might get some reworks of some old game modes, which actually wouldn't be a bad thing. Secondly, we will do our best to ameliorate the problem of being obligated to tackle on new contents. Since we have been focusing too much on new contents, we have not been able to go back to our older contents and neglected them. I'm glad they're admitting that. It's been almost four years, yeah, four years since Kale Fall Star has been released uh, in Japan, by the way. The game's uh, younger than that as far as global. And we have seen issues with repetitiveness and content, rewards, challenges, etc. Exactly. I've talked about this before in these videos where it feels like the game just kind of gets, you know, it'll get stale and boring when you're doing the same things over and over. But a big problem really in KOF is that everything just seems too easy. That's always been my complaint about it. Many of you find this to be more like homework rather than a fun gameplay experience. I'm really glad that they're being so transparent with this. I mean, this is honestly as about as honest as you can get. Thus, we intend to keep the rewards that our players like and change how contents are played and put less burden on our players as to completing challenges and missions. So the dev team goals for the first six months of this year. The KF All-Star PC version was released on 127 in Korea and 27 for Japan and global servers. It is still in beta version. However, many of us have been giving them positive feedback towards our new attempt and we thank them for that. 
or thank us for that. We are acquiring as much information as possible through the beta service and noting ourselves on what improved client was. We will ameliorate, they really love this word, client instability and the inconveniences arising from the difference between mobile version and PC version. PC version, way better, especially if they have a halfway decent computer. When the actual server becomes active, the inconveniences and instability mentioned above will be fixed and provide you with a better stable server. We hope that many of you continue loving our newly added PC version of KF All-Star and give us feedback as much as possible. Very, very nice. Loving the PC version. There are some bugs in it, but you know, this is the beta, right? They're going to work on it. They're going to make it better. They're going to fix it. And the more people that use it, the more incentivized they're going to be to fix it. But it sounds like they're going to try to fix it anyways. Along with the improvements of existing contents, a new content called Dispatch, interesting, will be added. The Dispatch system will allow your fighters to collect rewards after a certain amount of period. The more fighters you have, the better it is for the dispatch mission system. We plan to release the dispatch content in February, so please stay tuned. Now, this is really interesting, especially the fact that it's coming from Marvel. Now, there's another game that I play that many of you might play or you're definitely well aware of, which is Marvel Future Fight. And they actually introduced the dispatch missions in there as well months ago. But it was a game mode that actually went over super, super well for the player base. I actually love it because you use a multitude of characters in it to clear content. And once you clear the content, then all you gotta do is literally just click on and collect everything every single day. Every 24 hours or, every, or so much time throughout the day, you can collect all the rewards every single day after you clear just the first time. So if it's like what it is in Marvel Future Fight, we're gonna be using a multitude of characters to clear it the first time and then afterwards, maybe we'll just be collecting uh, all the rewards every single day or maybe they'll do it different. But the dispatch missions in Marvel Future Fight went over very, very well. So I got some high hopes for this. I'm seeing some pretty good rewards in here like AP, I'm seeing souls, I'm seeing infinity items, I'm seeing capsules which is great i'm seeing hammers gold hammers which is awesome and you know this ap is actually really amazing because you know we farm rush dungeons we have lots of events that we farm we use a lot of ap in this game and a lot of times players are lacking in ap so i'm really really hoping that this is going to help them out a lot and if again if it's like marvel future Fight version of dispatch this could be a really really good thing and something quick and easy to do right uh, furthermore, we are releasing a new PvP content called Dream Match. Now, this is this is really interesting to me because you know we already have Championship, so I, I don't know if they're going to make this like like a, a better server. I mean, they're not going to have a better server, but have like less latency, less problems in it. I don't really know what the difference is actually going to be, but this content is solely testing your skills as a player, regardless of what rank or specs you have on your fighters. And this is kind of the fun aspect of the game. Through the more pleasant server condition on the PC version, you'll be able to enjoy this con e this event content. You're welcome to use any fighter in your database and complete against other players. Okay. New fighter tier and growth factors. All right. So ever since the release of new BS and SS fighters, which are the highest ranked FS fighters, fighters from different years have churned obsolete and gameplay controls have become somewhat less exciting. Yes, that is the nature of power creep, my friends. To mitigate such problem, we are preparing a new system called Change Up, in which you can obtain a special skill to change up the flow of the game. Interesting. In the next update, we plan to apply the Change Up kit, the next update, guys, to the new BS fighters Orochi and Omega Rugal. Okay, so in my last video, I was speculating on the BS fighters that could be coming to the game, because more than likely it's going to be BS fighters, because we just had an SS banner, right, with Terry and Mary. And this here is right here is signifying who's going to be showing up. Now, we might get other fighters in the next banner, but it looks like we're going to get Orochi a and Omega Rugal. Now, whether they get reworks or not, I don't, I don't think so, uh, considering what we're going to read here further on. But uh, we'll see. The change of kit will provide the stats of both fighters and give additional skills. Additional skills. Interesting. The change of kit can be obtained by using the fighter's memories. Oh, see, see, that's something that people are not going to like to hear. Uh, they're not going to like to hear that at all because memories are very, very hard to come by. Honestly, just getting a character A5 is quite the nightmare in itself. Uh, for players that are going to have these characters at A5, it's not going to be as big a deal, but let's read on. And the new fighters will have EX in front of their names and rise to a different grade of fighter. The changeup will not just simply be an upgrade rather it will be a game changer 
and provide new skills to enjoy the fights better. We intend to gradually make such changes to existing BS and SS fighters in the near future, so even though Orochi and Rugal are going to be getting this first, our other BS and SS fighters are going to be getting these same treatments in the future. So, you know, on one on one hand, you know, like your favorite car, your favorite fighter will probably get, you know, these kinds of buffs, and they're going to be super strong. But you're going to have to get memories in order to level them up, which is, I don't know, we'll see. We will also present you to you with new fighters who will not be needing a change up to align with the changes we are making. Okay, so what that means is all of our newer fighters are just going to have more power creep. That's what it means. It means they're going to be on the same level playing field as the characters that do have change up. Yeah. So in a way, it kind of makes change up kind of irrelevant, but we'll see how it plays out. Uh, not bad. Nice, nice way of wording things. And we will limit the amount of new content fighters to not overwhelm players. That's actually a good thing. So EX change up effect. Once you use change up, the maximum awakened level becomes 70. Currently right now, we can go up to level 50. This is something else that people are not going to like. And I don't know, like right now we only have experience bottles that go up to level 50, right? To take a character from level 40 to level 50. So are they going to introduce new experience bottles to take up to level 70? I'm not really sure. Uh, will increase along the level up. In addition, EX Core board will open up to further increase stats and EX boost. A special skill will be available to select. Not bad. The EX Core board will allow you to choose a skill to boost further. We will also allow stat resets and make it possible to input stat points differently and choose different skills. Detailed information about Orochi and Omega Rugal's new skills will be further notified in a separate notice so that's something to be looking forward to i mean this is one of those things that you know a lot of players are probably going to be pretty upset about i'm going to be reserved on this whole taking characters to level 70. i don't really like it i've mentioned before in previous videos like well not previous videos but videos a good while back where we had data mine information that showed characters could go up to 10 star i didn't like it i think it's terrible for the game but i mean we'll see how this plays out you know if they make it easier to get memories if they make it easier to get random BS and SS memories for our characters to be able to do this change-up system, it won't be as bad. But if it remains the same as what it is right now, then it's going to suck, right? Because people aren't going to be able to get enough memories to be able to do this. So that's what we're just going to have to wait and see uh, what happens as far as what the dev team does, as far as how many memories we actually get, how many random BS memories we get. I mean, we're getting a random BS memory right now, but... I mean, if they keep doing those kinds of things, it'll actually ease the pain of this kind of thing. So how to acquire EX change-up kits. You will need three BS fighter memories, three of them, my friends, in order to obtain the change-up kit for the desired fighter. We realize that obtaining memories through summoning is immensely difficult and time-consuming. I don't think time-consuming is really the problem. The immensely difficult is. The rates are usually abysmal, right? I mean, we can go to pity, but you got to spend 18,000 rubies to get to pity right and there's times where you can actually pull in those pities and you won't get one memory at all and you got to use your fighter selector for the fighter all right or if you already have the character you're just going to use it for one memory so you might spend 18,000 rubies and only get one memory that's why they need to incorporate some kind of system to where we get bs and ss memories more often to kind of alleviate this thing a little bit so the dev team will present to you limited time ruby events which they've already they're already doing they're doing right now we got a login event where we're getting seven thousand rubies honestly guys i don't think that is enough they need just like i said a second ago they need to incorporate a system where we're acquiring more bs and ss memories through the game i mean they need to make a system to where we play a certain game mode where we actually can acquire these memories and events that allow players to obtain fighter memories the dev team will do its best to not burden the players with tedious work in order to obtain fighter memories well we'll see we'll see and this here is a picture of the change up system right here okay interesting so they would like to proceed with survey after the orochi and omega rugal update which you, i mean guys this is going to be the next update so i'm actually really happy that orochi and rugal are getting this first they really should because they were the first bs characters right they were the first of their con right bs came out before ss so i'm happy about that so i mean i don't know i don't know i hate to say we'll see all the time but we'll see uh, which fires would players want to upgrade in the next update? Based on the survey, the dev team will come up with update ideas and choose the fires to be upgraded. We hope that many of you participate in the survey and enjoy the new exchange up. So they're going to have surveys about, you know, characters that we want to have change up for next. You guys are going to see how that plays out as far as BS Rochi and Rugal are concerned. You guys know that Rugal is my boy, so I'm going to try to deck him up as, as much as I can and see just kind of what kind of power creep we really are going to be getting. And then furthermore... 
a brand new enhancement contained called All-Star Archive will be coming along. You can link the fighters with the multiple emblems in the archive to activate them and select the fighter with the better suited emblem to tackle a dungeon when forming a team. The number of links varied by emblem and link fighters growth increases along the effect of the emblem. So it's a way of buffing your characters more or less. And here's a screenshot of it, guys. You can see all the characters in the background. And then we intend to make use of the fighters who have been neglected due to appearances of new fighters. That's actually a good thing. You know, we want to use our other fighters. You know, we got a lot of characters in the game that we never use. We just use meta characters all the time because that's, well, that's all we need. And so the newly appearing emblems will become useful. More detailed information about the emblems and how to equip them will be in future update notices. Plan collaboration and what's after. So last year, KOF Foster proceeded with three collaborations, which went really, really well. Fortunately, many of them all enjoy the collaborations and they will continue to come up with various collaborations in the year 2022 and also various events to live up to our players' expectations. And the upcoming release of KOF 15's contract is almost set. And so the KOF All-Star team will do its best to provide various fighters through the KOF 15, guys. Yeah, that's pretty damn cool. So get ready. We might be getting some fighters from KOF 15. K49, the new K49. Just saying. We have also finished IP and tangible property contracts. So the dev team is, is developing stage and finding partners to make new collaborations as well. And then so on, so on, so on, guys. I mean, this is really good news. I mean, the only thing that I'm kind of sketchy about is the fact of the Awakening levels going up to level 70, having to get three memories to do the change of option on your characters. I mean, again, guys, if they make it easier to get BS and SS memories, a concrete way of getting them, it won't be as bad. It'll, it won't be as bad. It'll alleviate the pain of it. But if, they, if it remains the way it is right now, then, I mean, it's, it's going to be a bit of a farce. It's going to suck. But I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and see because, I mean, the dev team really does work hard to try to provide us some new things. Uh, in, in a way, the, the new change of system could be awesome, you know? You could give your character certain special effects. I don't, I mean, we'll see what it entails as far as the effects that you're actually giving your character. You can make your specific character even more OP. But I mean, if it just has like, you know, a certain only one effect that you can apply and you can't have like random effects to make your character unique amongst other players rosters like you know maybe my rugal has a certain effect that i can choose and then maybe someone else's rugal on their account has a different effect that they can choose you know that's the way i would like to see it if it's the same effect then it's kind of just i don't know it's just kind of run-of-the-mill boring everybody just has the same thing same op effect so we'll see how it plays out also make it a little bit more interesting in pvp but some people might not like that because then things aren't as predictable right so we'll see how this plays out and if you click on this little guy here, which takes you to this. Look at what we got there. Look at what we got there. Street Fighter 5 collaboration. Huh? What? I'm going to say that again. Street Fighter 5 collaboration. How long have we been requesting this, right? This is amazing. When I first started playing this game globally wise, right? Three weeks after this game came out global, we had our first collaboration, which was Tekken, one of the most popular fighting games in all the fighting games, right? The same with Street Fighter. This is godly for this game. This will bring in a lot of new players. This will, I mean, <laughs> I don't, you guys, I'm so excited. This is amazing. And we know right now that we're getting Ryu which is awesome, guys. I mean, the main protagonist pretty much of the franchise. And if you click on fighters here, you can actually see that we're getting Chun-Li, right? Waifu heaven, my friends. This is sweet. We're actually getting two versions of Chun-Li, right? Nice uh, view right there. Well, my face is actually covering the view, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. And we're going to get three more characters right now. There has been some data mined information as far as the characters are concerned, but I want to click on coupon right here. If you guys haven't used this coupon code, here it is to get you 500 free rubies. So make sure that you do use this code to get your rubies. In the last video, I did put it in the comments, but if you didn't see those comments and you didn't read it or you didn't watch that video, maybe you watched this video. Here is the collaboration, the code so you can get 500 free rubies. This is sick, my friends. Oh.
oh my god this is sick so i'll go ahead and pull up a little something for you guys which is the some data mine information as far as the characters are concerned and as you guys can see it is showing uh ryu chun li which we know we're getting confirmed already akuma vega and luke right now out of all the characters i just named luke is the one that most people aren't going to really care about now that's not me trying to knock on the character luke it's just that he showed up in street fighter 5 he's not like an original street fighter character like ryu or chun li right he's not he's he, he hasn't been around very long so a lot of people aren't really going to care about him i think it's interesting that they put him in here but but they did right and the other thing that i want to show you guys is something else so you know we have vega right now vega the funny thing about vega is that vega actually i'll go ahead and bring up something else for you guys vega actually was the name of bison in japan and whenever they came over internationally then the name was changed because i believe there was some kind of issue with uh you know bison's name is mike bison and they were worried about you know mike tyson uh you know suing them for copyrights using his name some i think something along the lines i'm not really sure guys i'm not an expert on that but they used the name vega njp for bison so we very well could get bison or we could get Vega. Now, I I actually love Vega. I think he's freaking awesome. But I also love Bison and actually would prefer to have him because, I mean, he's the Street Fighter big dog boss, right? He's the big dog. I mean, this guy's like Rugal. This guy's like Heiachi from Tekken. I mean, I so personally, I would love to see Bison show up. You guys can see Luke in the, you know, the, the middle there. I mean, again, you know, a, a lot of people aren't going to be, you know, very happy with him. And again, I'm not trying to knock on the character. It's just... He's not as well known as other characters. And then you got Akuma. Now, I would take all this data mine information, guys, with a grain of salt. Anytime we have data mine information, take it with a grain of salt. This is not concrete. This is not guaranteed. All we know for sure right now is that we're getting Ryu and Chun Li. That's it. That's all we know for sure. We have no idea if we're getting these other characters, but more than likely, I mean, I, I don't want to say more than likely, but I'm, I'm hoping, 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 hoping that we're definitely going to get Akuma. Please, God, give us Akuma. And shout out to Ashley, by the way. And, you know, Bison, right? I want those two so badly. I mean, so, I mean, we could have a hell of a lot to look forward to. And something else that I want to note really quick, guys, is the date. This says pre-registration starts on March 15th. And if you take a look at our game right now, our login event, these rubies are going to end in 13 days. Well, you know, March 15th is beyond 13 days, which means that these rubies here are going to go on a different banner, which is more than likely going to be a BS banner, guys, considering we just had the SS banner with Terry and Mary. And so, you know, you know how they do it, guys. This is a gotcha game. They're probably going to bring it. They're going to bring in a BS banner to use these rubies on. They're not going to, you know, they're not going to have these rubies and not bring in a banner. Right. So that gives us a few weeks before this collaboration actually will show up. So they're probably going to introduce some crazy character. I'm almost predicting, guys, that's going to be Psyche and Mukai. That would be huge. A lot of players love those characters. And so that would bait them to try to pull for them before the collaboration and use their rubies. So that is something to be wary of, guys. They're gonna give us a banner before this collaboration and you know, you might end up using your rubies. Now the rubies that you get from your uh, login here, that's fine, right? Because they're gonna be gone by the time the collaboration shows up. But your main rubies, I mean, I mean, we'll see guys, we'll see. We'll see what the next uh, banner is going to be and go from there. But really what I'd recommend to everybody is save all of their tickets save every single one of your tickets save these tickets here well not these tickets but save your summon tickets so you're gonna find some of these babies save your summon tickets like these right here your battle car tickets uh for in case we do get a carnival i would highly recommend that you do that so i mean this is a dream come true man street fighter finally getting street fighter man you know waited over two years for this and they're finally bringing in some of the most awesome characters now 
you know, something that I was less disappointed about in the data mind was I didn't see Ken. And I really, really think Ken belongs in the collaboration. But again, guys, you got to take all that with a grain of salt. Take any of that data mind information uh, with some dirt because we just don't know. We have no idea. And let's just be reserved on our thoughts and wait and see what characters they actually give us for the collaboration and what they're actually going to be giving us, giving us in the future. But this is sick news, man. I'm so excited. So let me know how you're all feeling about the future collaboration. Let me know who you think these rubies are actually going to get used for and what you think about all the new contents, the change-up kits, and everything that we talked about today. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See you, everybody.